they don't pay for anything. Right? Yeah, all the well, other comedians you're charging is right. right. So Sherrod doesn't. Sherrod feels like now that he's the new generation and that you're that damn he, right. And I, I thought, yeah, he wants right. to be grandfather. Hold then. on, I don't okay. blame him for one. I actually, I actually, I don't blame him. But you agree. He once said to me. Godfrey and I and a lot of the black comics think this is fucked up. Meaning that it wasn't because of anything except that he was black that he that he wasn't. And I said to me, and I name said, oh, one black person on that. Uh, Keith uh, Robinson. He hosts every day. All right. hosts eat free. Nigga. Right, right, right. No, right. no, no. He, he, no, no, that's not true. That's what not true. What are you talking about? That's not true. <laughs> don't name, name somebody who don't host who's on a list like that. Keith who is just, on the list when he hosts or when he's not on the list. No, name, no, name somebody to me. So name we, somebody well, to I me say, who don't host. fucked up that you were treating the black comics. What's that? Sweet Sweet Sweet. I mean, it's just it just seemed like that because let's keep it real. Like most of the black comics here were the strongest ones. <gasps> Whoa! We're the strongest we are, we are comics. Keeping, keeping it real. No, alert. no, no, no. Keeping no, it real. real. Alert. Like 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 Ouch. Anderson Cooper. Let's keep it keeping it honest. We, keep we are it some of the strongest ones. I'm talking about with an all white audience. That's how they book us. We One kill time. it regardless. I don't care what time it is, what time of the day, whether I'm first, second, third. And we, we good for each whatever. spot in the show. We do what Every we do. Spot. We do what we do, and it feels First, like last, we, it feels open, like closed. we were we were being like it's like let's control the black comic. If you're a black comic control. here, you got to be and able to do every spot. Guys. Listen, if you're a black comic here, you got to be able to do every spot on the lineup. That's right. Open a show, you can't do a sweet show, spot. middle That's of the right. show. You got to be able to do, do every one. Can white I, yeah. comics, okay. wait, and these wait, are let two me finish. majority let white audiences. White comics do not have to do that ever. They don't have to be that kind. They don't have to be everything. Every they don't have to be a fucking utility vehicle for a show. They don't have to do that. Right. It's right. amazing a nice to me. Cushiony now, now let me right. tell you, I booked the room with Esty, right? Yeah. All right? And let me tell you, if there's any advantage to any race that goes on, the black guys get Because wow. you can do every spot, I'm but gonna, you're required no, I'm going to tell you wow. why. Don't, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 I'm gonna let me explain wait, it. Wait, let me go wild. Because this is the, the podcast. The I want to go wild. Make it Because sometimes, <laughs> if the, sometimes if there's an... Uh, well, I'll make if, it boring. Wow. Let me go wow. When you go, let me explain. I go, okay. And then people are like, wow, this is getting good. Some, <laughs> don't control this. Make it dope. Sometimes. Okay, let's do it again. Wow. Wow. All right, I'll, I'll edit that. Okay. Sometimes... <laughs> If there's all <laughs> only white comics, uh-huh. I will say you know we should try to we should try to put a black comic. I'm gonna have a lot of black people in the audience, and they complain if they don't see any any black comedian. But never is it a time where you have all black comics and say maybe I should put a white dude in there. Well, we'll, we'll have to, we'll have, there are far fewer black comics around than white comics, and we and we we'll, that's we'll, not we'll true. Have, we'll, have, we'll have a, a Listen, two or three on the same all, show. First of all, out of five. First of all I'm gonna keep it real. No, I don't want you to ghettoize this club. I want. What does ghetto I, mean? By ghetto the way? means a co- um, black comics that ain't shit. That copy and, and and steal material and do yeah. that bullshit BT bullshit. Right. Don't bring that here. Do you right. know I want like a Sherrod, a, a Keith Robinson. You want guys that have quality. Quality. Do you know, do you know who has? That's yeah, the highest. Yeah, 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 do you yeah. know who has the highest 1099 year in year out of this club? Who? Keith Sherrod. Robinson. Sherrod does him. more spots. That's every club. And he doesn't even MC. <laughs> Sherrod does more spots at the Comedy Cellar than any other comedian and consistently. S- Nevertheless, he feels that he doesn't get enough spots and that he's, he's treated back because he's black. Wow, and with that being so. Now, he did a 10 If that's being so, you, why am I wow. not treated like Robin Kelly wow. and Colin? And yeah, if that's being so, us, you don't why don't treat us. Like, why do you don't treat me like Robin Kelly? Yeah, you don't treat us like that. I don't know if it's interesting to people at home because my father, rest in peace. <laughs> Eight, seven years ago, you're the father now. You got the power of money. All, though. Well, you well, got the power. Does how does no one not treat you? How would you feel if right here and now I changed the policy? You should. No, I'm not going to. Well, you know what? No, no, no. This is what happens. It's like when there's like. There's another reason. There's another reason. There's another go reason ahead. we would never change the policy. It ain't no because reason. Sherrod will drink more alcohol. I, listen, than I all drink the other it now. Comedians put together. See, now that's a cop out. No, <laughs> that's a cop out. We cannot afford. No, that's a cop out. <laughs> no, that's a cop out. All the niggas on the list been in rehab. No, that's a cop out. No, that's a cop out. No, that's a cop out. Maybe, wow. maybe that's a cop out. Maybe that's that, a cop out. Okay, you got, how is how is Robert Sherrod, Kelly? Please. Hold on, Sherrod. Are you saying it's a cop out? And, 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 and food alone, Robert Kelly shouldn't be on any list. Wow. <laughs> no, that's a cop out. Yo, because sometimes, like so sometimes when you have like, let's say all the comics are here, and it's just, it's this thing where you're like, every it seems like nowadays, like it's like all the white comics are here, and it almost seems like we're like getting pushed out. Even Patrice, let's keep it real. Patrice, there was a point where Patrice didn't like coming back here anymore. I beg Patrice to come he did back. Not here. Coming back because the way you were treating him, he did not wow. want to come back here. I'm saying oh, this. You know, let's that's character assassination. Well, how did I treat Patrice badly? I don't Never. know, but Patrice, I know Never. Patrice, and Patrice would be sitting in a truck across the street and didn't want to come in here, and that was fucked up. Well, if, if, if why he, was you know he, what I mean? why, why, why but, do you put that Patrice, Because he was black. Hold, hold up, Patrice.
treats with a whole court, court here, here and fuck with everybody, yes. which was great because we treat him that way because he's black. Really, probably a big black dude and loud, you want that black, black loud, loud. That's so silly. And you want to you want to have boring white comics around here sitting around that's doing so nerding no, no, nerd no, 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 no one likes nerdy boring so conversation. He has the right to like that kind of conversation. Black and white comics in the stellar are the shit. I love them all. Can I add another level to this, which always fascinates me? That obviously blood is thicker than water here. Black trumps anything except nevertheless I think you guys agree you guys feel even more brotherhood with any comedian so when Michael Richards said what he said yeah. when uh, Imus said what he said yeah. any other white guy comes out with yeah. even more than that you, you guys defend Michael Richards and Imus because I thought he failed as a comic not as a man but you call me a racist because Patrice uh, well, you're too insecure but you're coming come to sit at the table but there's different times of <laughs> but Michael Richards like nigger nigger but you got, no, oh but no he's just a comedian no, you, you should can, never no, say anything you can have like a different. You have a, a slick kind of racism. It ain't like a hardcore. I have a slick racism. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let's make this. You know, I take that as a compliment. Let me talk. Oh, okay, sorry. You can. You can wow. You don't, wow. You don't necessarily have to be Grand Imperial Wizard like stay out of here, blacks. You can. You can probably be like, hey guys, can you lower your voice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You are loud. Right, anybody right, no, anybody no. who listens to our other podcasts will definitely hear the difference. Well, I mean, we're, you a know, but still being loud and you, you can. You can literally be like, oh yeah, hey, could you keep it down and constantly sit, say it to the black comics without being like blatantly racist, but there can be a sort of like an underlying thing of, oh boy, the black comics are loud again. Hey, hey um, you're all loud. You know, I'm loud. just saying. Uh, Godfrey, and it's like when someone DJ. tells you to lower your bass in, in the dorm room when we're play, when they're playing rock music. You guys do we're like bass. Hip-hop. You guys do like bass. Yeah, we do well, like yeah, bass. we're Africans. <laughs> we're like, Africans. Like bass. You need bass. We do like but bass. The, ba- the bass was invented in Europe. Well, when? Yeah. I'm kidding. Go ahead. I'm glad, I'm glad we got, but it's good now. But, the, 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 the black comics are not around. It's not as loud in here, but we do have a DJ. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you put a DJ. Yeah, black oh, people too loud, but a gay DJ black DJ. I didn't say it's a gay black loud. DJ. <laughs> it's a gay, right a gay black muscular DJ. But, uh, so. po- your point you made, He's like, going to make you like his point, music. You made a point. Dan, Dan wants to say something. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, Dan. Yeah, I need a little extra help to get my <laughs> voice in. But, um, <laughs> not so loud, Dan. You know, but, uh, but you did make a point a few minutes back about being treated worse than Robert Kelly. And uh, how was Robert Kelly treated better? I mean, maybe, he, yeah, how was Robert Kelly treated better than, than you Because guys? he was a Dane cr- crew and he's... No, um, but in what way is he treated better? Yo, that um, nigga, he gets stuff free, I get stuff free. I don't want to okay. get... I don't like getting treated worse Why than anybody. Get, Can I tell you where I'm at? Free. Oh, my wife you wants know, it. Sherrod eats, drinks, everything for free at the underground. Okay, okay she's, right. she's absolutely right. I even Juanita. let Sherrod steal chicken wings from the kitchen, yeah. okay? I, I, well, I'm talking about the freezer, but yes. <laughs> well, yo, so so well, here's the can we move on? Can we move on? This is this is uh, but, uh, this no, no. is really. First you, of all, you guys sound extremely well, insecure. No, it's not insecure. Really, it's comedians coming sound off. insecure. Oh, 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 it's and, coming and, off. And, you know, and to the seller. Very insecure. Listen, listen, and they don't respect all, the rules. All, you guys don't respect the rules. We have been loyal to. I have been loyal to this club for a long time. I want to talk. I have been loyal to this club. This is the best club in the country. Of course, because it has the best comics. Because the best comics in the country. The best comics. I meant to tell you guys. Comedy club just. Stand yeah, alone. I, I, meant, I meant the building. They're not here for the building. I meant. Right. I meant to tell you this before we started the podcast. I that we need to be able to to to, to get a word in edgewise here. Now I want to tell you first of all that I think you guys are insecure. Uh, the P word. <laughs> You're paranoid. Pussies. No. P- paranoid. Oh, and paranoid. Okay. Let me tell you who gets. Yeah. Let me get, tell you who gets more deference in this club than any other comic. Mark Maron. And everyone who works here will tell you that it's true. Dumb Collins. It's Godfrey. No. Godfrey goes on as long as he wants. He goes on every late night. the last spot. Put on early he, does that. he show he shows up late. He goes on. No, we we accommodate him, and sometimes he goes on and he and he's mad and he makes people. You cry. accommodate all of us. We, and we never I'm, said glad, that. I'm glad we're talking about we this. We accommodate we, Godfrey. All of us. You, and, and be, I agree. One second, and be, not because he's black. I know be, that because he's a huge talent, and we accommodate him. But there is no other comedian. Who gets that kind of red carpet to do whatever they want what? as long as they not want? Really. Louis C.K. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That, that's, Dave not, that's not a famous. Fair enough. Dave that, Chappelle. That's They're not famous. a famous. People. You idiot. Okay, Wait. I'm talking about the people who, who are not so big that they can bump everybody like Chappelle. Right, right. Like us. About people, At least he's admitting people, it. People we ain't that, shit. No, no. I'm no, not I'm kidding. People I'm that are booked here. No, first of all, C.K. is recently famous. Listen, we're the we're the he's still famous. What the hell does it matter? He had bump power for ten years before he became famous. We're the middle class. I call us the middle class. Comics, they're, they're like we're in the middle. Right. I think that listen, 
The reason why, and I asked you, um, Noam, I said, hey, man, you don't mind if I go on a little extra? He said, yeah, don't do a Chappelle on me, but it's okay I to do 30. Say don't do a Chappelle. No, no, no. You said don't do one, but you said I can have like the 30 to 40 because I go on last after everybody. Wait a minute. After everybody goes up, and even, you know, if if um, Jeff Ross and um, John Mayer want to do an unnecessary duo, <laughs> I let them do that bullshit. <laughs> and I, and, yeah, I let them do that bullshit, and I wait, right. and I go, okay, You're fine. supposed to but, wait for them. But hold, no, I'm not. No, you're not. And first of all, and when they do that, I go, and I'm up at the worst time of of, of, of the show, so I want to do a little longer. I think I've earned that keep. I don't come around with arrogance doing that. Of course you've earned it. And but, never, but then you walk but around I, feeling like we're trying to get rid of black no, comics. No, but the show has run late for a long time, and I never Forever, complain. Absolutely. Even well, when I come on time, I've never been on time. because Artie's the MC. And then the but only, Natterman but, runs the show. Listen, run <laughs> listen, whenever I do come, like, whenever the show's <laughs> running on time, it's because some people have canceled. I don't want to hear that shit because when I used to host, yeah. I hosted five First years in a row. Remember, I hosted for five years. Okay. The show never ran on time because okay, people don't, don't get off stage. Exactly. Don't beat the mic. People, First listen, of all, nobody people here don't get off stage. Comics, on time. The first guy would be Greg Rogel, and Rogel would never get off, never. and the show would start running late from the Godfrey, first. Godfrey, here's a comic. perfect example. So I, this show, listen, and it's okay with me, uh, but David don't get mad when I show up late because nigga. the show is always running late. David Tell just and went long. David Tell just went long last weekend. I'm waiting to go on last after him. Right. Val's in the fucking hall with me. He's going long. Essie goes down there. He finally gets off. Essie right. turns to me and screams, you can't be going late. I said, wait a minute. David yeah. Tell just got off yeah. late. David he's yeah. had a show he's for walking five years past you. But that's my point. Why are you yelling at me and I'm not on I'm Yeah, even you on can't yet. do that. You can't do that. I'm not that. even on stage yet. She yelled at me. Okay. But, but shows run <laughs> late. <laughs> it's comedy. It's that shows weird. run that late. That was weird. Can we talk about something we but can I'm all agree on? But, but no, I'm saying shows run late. And I, listen. shows always late. And listen, too. You guys say I always show up late because I'm so used to the show running late, so I, I you know, hosts I'm, don't complain. The shows always run late, and Staff if you want me to complain. prove it, I, but but even if I wait for an hosts hour, don't I complain. don't bitch, I don't complain. Nobody you guys get mad at me when I'm running late. Um, listen, this is not interesting. It's to unfair. Wait, let me just say one it thing. is interesting to people. Not, Here's the one thing. They love it. Uh, the the hosts don't complain about a late show. The comics don't complain about a late show. And, the, only, and the waitresses listen, complain. The waitresses right? complain. That, the they staff. Complain. I don't give a fuck. The waitresses. About that. I don't care about No, that. the staff. The waitresses no, and William I, Stevenson. I don't care about the waitresses. That's your staff. I'm, 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 William like Stevenson the, and the wait staff is well, the staff. First of all, first of all. <laughs> what color and is that's William who Stevenson? Complain. He's old Negro no, he's, black. Oh, listen. <laughs> William Stevenson is George Jefferson black. He's angry and crotchety. He's angry and he's a backstabber. And he likes to talk shit about comics behind their back. That's why. I cursed him out on stage and I said, yo, you're a backstabbing ass bitch. And I told him that. I'm not going to go that so, far. And I, I said it. I said it. And I'm tired. No, I don't like that house Negro shit. House you know Negro? What I mean? Yeah. Because you know why? Because let me tell you why. No, no, no. Let me tell you why. Because you Talking know what? Mike. I go on stage. Here he is. I don't it's care. Because I go on stage. When I go, listen, when I go on stage, I don't, I don't go on stage to harm anybody. I go on stage to do what I do. You know what I mean? And when somebody sit up there snitching behind me, I don't like that. That's not fair to me because you know what? I've earned my keep. No, I don't do anything to anybody in this club. I'm nice to all the waitresses. I'm nice to everybody. Don't fuck with my damn art, man. If you don't like comedy, stay the fuck out the club. Okay. Get your grumpy ass out the club and let's have a a fucking fun show. When I used to host, I had 100% energy up to 3 I kept the crowd all the way through. All day long. And when you got some grumpy ass motherfucker ruining ruining the show, they need to get the fuck off stage. That's for your therapist. Stay away from comedy if you don't like it. Okay, can we, can we talk about something That's else? That's all I'm saying. And, and you know when I'm okay, on stage, hold on. this is and, not and listen, therapy. And another thing, Preach. yo, another thing too is like when people say, "Oh, the show's running late." Uh-huh. Okay, I don't know. I always like when I, one waitress was getting insulted by some some lady in the audience, and I stood up for that waitress. I said, "You don't talk to the waitresses like that." And I'm standing up for them. They need to be like understanding. Yo, Amazing I'm gonna run late a little bit. But the thing, I, sh- the thing I don't like is when they go, "Hey, man, you running too late," and you guys are up here drinking and shit. You know, if you are so happy to get off work. You need to be the fuck out of the club. Oh, Don't be okay. hanging around drinking. I, I didn't mean to touch on such a... This thing is raw. I just, this thing is raw. is raw. Yo, yo, yo. Okay. I just wanted right. to say, right. from, from, from the point of view of the, the club, that we really, true, truly try to accommodate Godfrey, and yet, he doesn't appreciate it. That's no, all. I do. <laughs> That was a good one. That was a good one. Okay. No, and moving right along. Yeah, moving along. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> what do you guys so think fun. about Newt Gingrich winning the... Uh, the uh, I'm proud of him. Did he win? I'm no, proud. Le- leading. He's no, leading. He's, he's, leading. Leading. he's smoking. Leading. I'm Rom- proud of him. Romney. Yeah. 
I'm well, proud of Newt. Gingrich is a, is a veteran, man. Gingrich yep. knows the game. Newt, Gingrich knows, knows the game. game. He knows and the I game. And I think people are just like, you just go with Gingrich. Gingrich knows the system but so listen, well. I'm and Republican. I think he has, and I'm Republican. And <laughs> I'm black. I thought you were just crazy. We know this. No, I'm Republican. <laughs> but Newt, I feel like Newt Gingrich...